Hey everyone, it's Natalie. Today I'm gonna show you how I take an inventory of my pantry, fridge, and freezer to make meal planning easier and also save tons of money. So I have my handy dandy computer right here with my Google spreadsheet. Basically it's like an Excel spreadsheet and it just has categories of different kinds of food. I had one previously that I have shared with you guys that is just for the pantry. This one is new and improved. It's updated. There's three tabs on the bottom where you can get to the pantry, fridge, and freezer items, all common things that you want to keep track of. So a Google spreadsheet is basically like an online Excel document that you can access from any of your devices, which is really great when you're at the store and you can't remember if you have something at home, you can just pull up the spreadsheet app on your phone while you're there standing in the store and check if you have something. That is if you keep up with it. And I have not in a long time, so I've wiped everything clean and we're gonna start completely fresh today. I'm also gonna show you what the heck I'm gonna do with these little colorful dots. And at the end, we will meal plan together so that it all comes full circle. So let's get started here in the pantry. So this is what my pantry looks like right now. Like I haven't done a thing to make it like spruce it up or anything. We've got dog food and rice on the floor. And other than that, it stayed pretty organized. If you've watched my most recent pantry organization video, this is pretty much what it looked like. It's working really, really well for us. Now, some people have said that they feel like we have a ton of food. What do you think? Do we have a ton of food? I really don't think so. I feel like everything is just kind of spread out and we have a lot of back stock. But anyway, that's what we're going to be inventorying today. Everything in here, except for like the snacks because we don't need to inventory that in the hopes that we can use it up. So let's get started. We can always... I'm going to start by clearing the floor and vacuuming up any stray pieces of rice and crumbs. This just makes it way easier to get into the pantry to organize the rest of it. And we'll come back later to these backstock baskets in just a little bit. We are wanderers, nothing can stop us. We are wanderers, nothing can stop us. I'm starting the inventory by category and then I will just type in what I see and how many of each item. And thanks to one of your wonderful suggestions, I added another column where you can add the expiration date of different items. This way you can make sure you're using up things that are going to go bad the quickest. kind of clean things up a little bit here. I'll have these containers linked as well. Um, they're great. They have lids if you want to like, if you have taller shelves, my shelves aren't very tall. You could put the lid and then put more on top of it. Um, but yeah, so I've got a big can of beans that won't fit on these and like random stuff. And then I've got vegetables, tomato things, soup things, and then here is some jalapenos because um, I don't know. Um, I only found a few things that are expired. Um, these are all actually April of this year, which is funny. I mean, I'm, they're probably fine. So I might do like a little Google search. It's just a best buy date, not like an expired date. So I need to like look those up before I put them in the inventory. And then these guys over here, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do here with this in just a minute, but I wanna get through a little more of the pantry first, but I'm just setting aside these oddball items. Again, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do with that in just a minute. 
Let me know what you are up to today while you're watching this video, or maybe you're getting some inspiration first to get up and work on something here later. And let me know what that thing is. So I debated on putting a spice tab in this spreadsheet. Um, what do you think? Do you think we need a tab for spices? I mean, I know we have a ton of spices. I didn't even get them out today, but honestly, we use a ton of spices. So I'm really not eager to get rid of any just yet. Another party, another Friday night, another talk that might turn into a fight. Too many faces, you only see online. Too many cases, a fake and by design. Wake up every morning just to go right back to sleep. Text everyone you want. Looking a lot tidier, and I'll tell you why there's so many things missing in just a second, but. This is kind of just our, I don't know, random stuff. And when I have duplicates of something, I'll put the open one in the front and the non-open one in the middle, or in this case, just like one right behind the other. That lets me know that I have another one. And then this is kind of more of our like Asian cuisine. We've been doing a lot of um, cooking with like sesame oil, soy sauce, mirin. Um, I really wanna try this peanut sauce soon, but I feel like in my pantry and maybe in yours, you get these like pre-mixed sauces, like not ingredients like rice wine vinegar and, and mirin, but like a pre-mix because you're gonna make a certain meal and then you end up not making it and then it gets lost. And so that's exactly what all of this stuff is and why I've separated it out. I've got like Caribbean uh, jerk marinade and then this is something that my mother-in-law brought us back from a tr recent trip and I don't want to save it for a special occasion because I feel like when you save things for a special occasion, you never use them. So I want to use it. Anyway, so these things are all sitting here um, for a special reason. Okay, so here's my new bright idea. I've been setting aside all these random ingredients, things that I know have been sitting in our pantry for maybe six months, not by the date, but just because I keep seeing them and not using them. And I want to encourage myself to use them up. So. I have found, I think I took these from my like office at work. Um, I have these like little orange dot stickers and I am gonna put a sticker on each of these items. And then I am literally going to put a calendar reminder in my phone for one month from today to remind me to go back in and see which orange item stickers are still left. And then all month long, I'm gonna be trying to find recipes where I can incorporate these and use them up. Um, and then in one month, if I haven't used them, it's time to reevaluate and probably let them go because if I'm not using them when I'm intentionally trying to, then I probably don't need them anyway. So that's my new system here. I think it's gonna work out well. I don't have too many like crazy things. Like this is just like a random purchase that we just need to, you know, make into a lunch one day. So I think it's gonna work out and I'll, I'll let you know how it goes on Instagram. Um, and if it works well, I'm gonna keep doing it for other items around the house too. I'm thinking especially like, you know, the special things you get for Christmas, um, like masks and stuff in the bathroom and you're like, I'm gonna save them, use them, put a sticker on them, try to use them by a certain taste. Another Friday night, another talk that might turn into a fight. Too many faces you only see I'm also going to like highlight these items in orange in my inventory. So when I'm meal planning, I know exactly which items to use up first. Text everyone you already know you'll never meet. Dance alone around your room and get down to the beat. Wanna change the world, 20. I want it, I'm feeling old. Hey! Being young and engaged in the modern age. This side of the pantry is pretty sparse and I don't feel the need to inventory the snacks because those just aren't pantry staples. But can I just say that having canisters really helps us limit the number of snacks that we keep open. This cereal has been here a while, but wouldn't you know, it is still crunchy. These OXO containers are amazing.
These right here are my overflow baskets. They hold duplicates, but also bulky or random items. I definitely need to go through here and see what needs to be used up and get an orange sticker. And I love using my laminated overstock sheets in my pantry so that I can easily see what I have more of in the baskets without having to shuffle around too much. And I completely wiped them down and redid them so that they're the most updated with our current food selection. is all done and inventoried here it is it doesn't look all that different but now I know what is in here and you can see orange dots around for things to use up I was able to get the big bag of rice into the like overstock overflow items and the only thing I haven't put back is the dog food so it's looking really good I'm excited to use some of the stuff up so we can have even less in here. I'm down here in the garage freezer, this way and this way. It's an absolute mess, so we're just not gonna worry about that. Let's see what's happening in here. This is a freezer that we inherited, and I'm sure it's very, very loud, so I apologize for that. But we were able to stock up on a lot of stuff before, like in the beginning of the year. Um, before we really truly needed to stock up. And so then when we had to stock up for like quarantine and stuff, it, it ended up being really good. So now we're like starting to eat through, like this used to be jam packed, but it's, it's not so much anymore. So I just need to go through and mark down what we got here so we can start eating some of this stuff up because we don't want it to go bad and we just don't want to have it so full. And actually we've eaten almost all of our vegetables. So we could honestly use more of those. These pot pies are reminding me of when I tried to make one without its little house, and it was terrible. Maybe I will try to make one again soon. These bins are actually organizing meat, and they used to be in my pantry, which is why you can see the labels there. This one has everything that isn't chicken or turkey. We've got a ton of pork chops and more pork and beef cube steak and just random stuff. And this one is all chicken and turkey. But that gave me the idea because I have more of these containers, so I'm going to go find them and bring them in here to organize more of this stuff. I was looking all over the house for them and turns out they're right here in the garage. They've collected some items, these salad tongs, because I've never used these to make a salad. And so I needed to put them back with their bowl so we can donate that together as a set. All right, I added two more bins. I got this one that has all the other meats and sausage and hot dogs in it. And then this one has nearly all of the single serve meals. I know it says nuts and honey, but I don't feel like taking the time to take these off. And then um, what else do we have? We've got our other meat and vegetables. And then this door is just kind of a mixture. I'm going to take this bread upstairs and get all the frost off. I'm sure this bread isn't the greatest, so I'm going to start using it for toast and putting some honey that I want to use up on it, some special honey, and that will be a good way for me not to spend a dime on breakfast, but use up and not waste something. 
It's the next day and we're going to clear out the indoor freezer really quickly. My best tip here is to line up your fridge and freezer clean out day to be right before trash day. That way you can get rid of any food ASAP instead of leaving it in the trash. I was at the wrong place at the right time. Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes. We were conversing into the night sky. Not a ton left in this indoor freezer. I like to think of this as like more like the ready to go area and the freezer in our garage has uh, more like items and stuff. So I'm gonna take some things downstairs like the meat and the vegetables. I've got some things to throw away that I don't want, like the peanut butter and jelly that's gotten really old. And then actually I'm gonna be putting these back in. These are like different desserts. I didn't know what they were from, but my husband said that they were things he was gonna eat. So now we know they're there and we can use them up. This was like terrible, so sorry. Baskin Robbins, Rocky Road, not good. Um, but that rounds out the freezer, which means we have one thing left to do. We went to a small bar with neon lights. Talked about everything that was on our minds. Talking to you gave me butterflies. All right, the fridge is looking pretty full right now. I'm going to do some inventory, especially on like condiments and things that stay around for a while. I'm not doing inventory on like beverages or anything. I've got some extras down here at the bottom. I do still have my little snack tray from the last time I organized my refrigerator. But as you can see, I didn't keep all of the storage items. There's two that I did keep like little smaller things cause I use them here and there. But the thing that was up here, it was just too bulky. And once I started going back to work, I needed that spot for my lunchbox. So I got rid of it. That's the thing about organization is you can change it to suit your needs. I'm still loving this. I'll try to link everything that I can, um, but I do have a previous video on organization. Today, I'm really focused on just getting everything inventoried so that I can meal plan better. And also, I'm gonna have to do some cleaning because look at that. Ugh, it's gross. Now that I've found my crevice tool attachment for this vacuum, I'm finding so many great ways to use it like all of the time. I have a small Bissell vacuum that I unfortunately cannot recommend, but it does the job for now. done I was able to get rid of a few things and then just like generally tidy up it also just helps to know what's here like this situation is getting out of hand <laughs> like I always say I don't know what we're doing I feel like we're we're buying like we're seeing people and it's just us and we're like oh seasonal stuff <laughs> anyway I got rid of a few condiments I have one that I want to try to use in a recipe coming up soon so that I can get rid of that. And then I keep meaning to drink this in my coffee on the weekends. There's like this much left. That's why it's here in the fridge. Reminder to drink this so I can get rid of this bottle, please. Okay, on to the main part of the fridge. I'm not doing anything fancy today. I'm literally just removing, wiping, inventory, put back. Also, these are driving me nuts. So these are probably going to move to our other fridge because they've been here for months and we haven't touched them. Months. We need to give these to somebody. 
When you clean your refrigerator shelves, make sure to start at the top of the fridge because as you're moving and cleaning things, you will inevitably knock down crumbs. And when you get to the bottom, you can just wipe them all up. Now we're gonna go down to this bottom drawers, which I feel like is where most things are like hiding. If I'm gonna find something that has mold on it, that's usually where it is. I decided to crack open one of these. This is just a regular seltzer water that I bought when I, I made this a uh, little cozy and I needed something to model it with. It wasn't alcoholic. So there's only two of these. Now there's gonna be one because I'm gonna drink this one. I want them out of here. It's not something I normally drink, but I didn't feel like just throwing them away. So there you go. Let's get down there and also all those crumbs and then this fridge will be done. Now, if this feels like an overwhelming task to clean out or inventory your food, try taking it just one shelf at a time. Do one shelf per day for the next week and before you know it, you'll have a clean and inventoried food stock. Why you wanna let me go now, now, now? Are you saying that to change your mind? For love or pity, let me know not nah, now. Cause your love made me, made me go blind. What am I hearing? Saying you're moving back. When were you gonna tell me that? What am I hearing? It feels like a heart attack. Someone help me catch my breath again. Did you stop loving me? How is that even possible? Possible? How could we let love go? How could we move on? Move on? Why you wanna let me go? Nah, nah, now. Are you saying that to change your mind? Well, love a pity, let me go. about to take a picture and look what I just saw underneath well above the condiments check here there could be stuff okay lesson learned don't let barbecue sit on your white fridge it will stain it Now is the fun part where we get to come up with a whole meal plan based off of these different things that we're going to use up. And I'm not trying to just use these things, but I want to be able to use what we have, build on it a little bit at the grocery store and save like half on our budget. We usually budget about $50 per week for the two of us. And I think we can do it for $25. So I've got my board right here. I'm pulling up my inventory. There are lots of websites that actually have spaces for you to put in different ingredients and it will give you recipes like Super Cook and My Fridge Food. And there's a new one I just saw called Big Oven. They're not always like the prettiest websites, but they do work pretty well. My favorite thing though, is just to go into Pinterest because then I have one place to save all of my recipes and I will have my Pinterest page linked down below. So I'm gonna go do some research, find some recipes to use up these things that are in orange and see what we can spend on groceries for one week. Can you see this? Why are belly piercings one of the things on my suggested? <laughs> See, here is an ingredient I have no idea what to do with that we got during quarantine. It's beef cube steak. Let's see what we can make. Ah, uh, see, that looks good right there. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, that looks delicious. 
How is this for like shelf cooking? I've just written this here in this notebook because I'm gonna transfer this to my phone. That's where I like to keep my recipes, but just to think it out, nine dollars, you guys. So we are only two people, which of course makes it easier, but I've got these recipes saved on my Pinterest page and we can eat each one for two nights. And then we typically will have one more night of something, whether we like each eat from one of these meals or whatever. And if we stick to this plan, I can use up butter beans, capers, cube steak, some peas from the freezer and some rolls. And then I think we'll have like a fun appetizer night using up some of the random things in the freezer. And we usually go out at least once a week. Um, by go out, I mean pick up food or go to my mother-in-law's. So there you go. One week of recipes. I only need a few ingredients. These are just guesses. I don't even think it's actually gonna be this much, but. There you go, save some money in December so that you can buy Christmas treats and presents. I hope that was a helpful and fun video to see how I organize my pantry, freezer, and refrigerator, do an inventory and meal plan to save money. I'll see you guys next week with a new video. Bye.